Jake Sullivan, the White House National Security Advisor, has stated that the Iranian government is preparing to provide Russia with up to several hundred UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, including weapons capable UAVs, on an expedited timeline. While the exact schedule was not revealed, Sullivan did add that U.S. intelligence indicated that Iran was preparing to train Russian forces to use these drones as soon as early July. Regarding this, Nasser Kanani, an Iranian foreign ministry spokesperson, told Iran's semi-official Tasnim news agency, the history of cooperation between Iran and Russia in the field of some modern technologies dates back to before the war in Ukraine, indicating that there's possibly something being lined up. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia wants Iranian drones. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Russia has several types of drones, some of which have been used for surveillance over Ukraine. But when it comes to employing armed drones in the conflict, Russia has not used them extensively. This could be attributed to low confidence in those models or not having enough numbers available. The reference to several hundred UAVs seemed to suggest that Russia would be getting a suicide drone or kamikaze drone that can take on a one-way mission. These types of drones enable faster reaction times against concealed or hidden targets that emerge for short periods without placing high-value platforms close to the target area. Russia has two reasons for acquiring Iranian drones. Many experts thought that Russian forces would overrun Ukraine in a few weeks, but obviously this has not played out like that. Months of fighting have taken a toll on Russian weapon stocks, especially the standoff precision weapons. Reports have emerged that due to the lack of caliber series land attack missiles, Russia is using KH-22 and KH-32 anti-ship missiles for attacking targets on land. Russia is reportedly now employing S-300 series surface-to-air missiles in a land attack role. This is far from being ideal as these are pretty costly weapons and using them for purposes that they were not built for will result in a higher failure rate. The country also seems to be running out of PGM or precision guided munition like 250 kilogram, 550 pound KAB-250 and 500 kilogram, 1100 pound KAB-500 precision-guided bombs. Many Russian aircraft losses have been caused due to this, including the Su-34. Since hitting a target with dumb bombs, which have no guidance, requires coming in low, this exposes the aircraft to threats like man pads. Russia will surely find it difficult to replenish the stock because of the sanctions that stop it from acquiring key components, like chips. Ukrainian specialists found several U.S. origin chips manufactured by AMD and Texas Instruments in Pantsir Air Defense System. Pantsir Missile System is a family of self-propelled, medium-range, surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery systems. Similarly, there were more than 30 U.S.-made ships in the KH-101 cruise missile, including those manufactured by Cypress Semiconductor and Maxim Integrated. KH-101 is a conventional air-launched cruise missile ALCM, that can fly at low, terrain-hugging altitudes to avoid radar systems. Iran has built up its own aerospace industry 
in the face of sanctions and massive import restrictions over the years. So it's likely to be able to serial produce drones and supply them to Russia in large numbers. Iranian-made suicide drones, including those operated by Iran and its proxies, have targeted oil infrastructures in Saudi Arabia. On September 14, 2019, facilities of Saudi Arabia's oil company, Aramco, located in the east of the country, came under attack. As per reports, the raid, which began at 4 a.m., was carried out using 18 drones and 7 missiles. The world's biggest oil refinery near the city of Abqiq and a refinery near Qurais, where Saudi's second largest oil field is located, were targeted. Being facilities of very significant importance, they were protected, and Patriot Pac-2 surface-to-air missile batteries that the U.S. sold to Saudi Arabia were stationed to intercept aircraft and missiles, but they failed to intercept the drones. 2021 drills provided more glimpse of Iran's increasingly sophisticated capabilities. Iranian state television published footage that showed four unmanned, triangle-shaped drones flying in a tight formation. Another clip showed drones smashing into a target that was described as being hypothetical enemy bases and detonating. Iran has developed several kinds of kamikaze drones including the Shahed series, with 136 being the latest variant. Shahed 136 is a modern swarming drone developed by Iranian industry. The loitering munition is designed to neutralize ground targets. A large number of these can be simultaneously launched from a launcher rack and are intended to bypass aerial defenses and overwhelm ground targets. The drone was revealed in December of 2021. So, as evident, the situation is ripe for a deal between Russia and Iran when it comes to drones. Till now, Ukraine has taken a leading role in using armed drones in this conflict, but this could change since Iran has the hardware as well as the experience on how to deploy them effectively. Iranian armed drones would give the Russian side more options to carry out offensive strikes, including targeting high-value assets deep in Ukraine. The development comes at a time when President Biden is taking a harder line on Iran's nuclear ambitions and has stated that he'll use force against Iran if needed. Iran providing drones to Moscow for war against Kyiv, backed by the West, is also a show of major political intent and has larger geopolitical implications. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.